death was a close companion in Haiti. Funerals are accompanied with songs, dancing and music. Of those who attend, many wear white. The dead are buried inside family graves, many of which look like small homes. They have iron doors and locks to keep prospective burglars away. But there is nothing to steal here apart from the dead themselves. Body snatching is not unusual in Haiti. Human bones are believed to carry magical properties. This belief is strongest among the Hungan, the voodoo priests. What relatives fear the most is that a magician will attempt to bring their loved one back to life, turning them into a zombie. The word zombie originates in the Congo. Its roots lie in the name of the goddess Nzambi, which means the spirit of the dead. In Haitian tradition, zombies are undead people, lacking a soul and conscience. They are mindless beings used like robots, slaves to a magician who has trapped them within their own bodies using an ancient and secret procedure. Zombie tales are common among Haitians, including our driver, Maxime, an educated man with an economics degree. Oui, moi connais les zombies existés, mais moi beaucoup j'en vois une. Et c'est des bagages qui ont genre gain pile secret et puis dimension que tout le monde pas qu'arriver gain accès à lui pour elle. We visited one of the best-known voodoo priests in the country, Mr. Andre Elien, who studied Haiti's traditions in depth. Gen voodoo ki pratiquement pran ou aspe selman kult danse, men gen voodoo scientifik tou. Voodoo scientifik la, sa liye. Scientification se science resurrection. Et zombification, c'est une science qui a été gagnée, qui est cachée très précieusement, qui n'est pas de comme ça. But, as Mr. Elian said, this science has been corrupted and is now only used for evil purposes. If you hate someone and want revenge, you pay a magician to turn them into a zombie. It is the harshest sentence possible, the cruelest means of revenge. This is human. In Haiti, <coughs> we always say to the one who, the intellectual uh, uh, people, well, you want to take my land, you want to take whatever I have in it, but I will not go to, it, to, to the, to the uh, court. I'm going to the, to the mountain court. <laughs> I'm going to the mountain court, meaning that I'm going to voodoo, to take care of you on voodoo. I always uh, talk very hard to the one, the hunger is practicing. I tell to them, okay, we're talking about the, the, the independence, and we're free. How come you use the science to, to uh, put other people and slave other people? And they reanimate, reactivate the dead body. So but the only problem is they don't put back 
the soul and the spirit into the body. This is a half human. Hollywood loved the idea, producing numerous films on the topic of the living dead emerging from their graves. But could zombies actually exist? The question may appear ridiculous at first, but Haiti's penal code takes the issue quite seriously. Article 249 states that turning people into zombies constitutes premeditated murder. Port Prince, the capital of Haiti, is a lively and colourful city of two million inhabitants. Its streets are decorated with murals, and the vibrantly coloured tap-taps, the local buses, blare out religious messages over the din of traffic. The surrounding mountains are dotted with the villas of the wealthy. A sea of tin shacks stretches at their feet. Streets are piled with garbage, which the locals burn for fear of disease. Haiti is the poorest country in the Western Hemisphere. Out of a population of 8 million, 6.5 million, 82% live in poverty. The only appealing aspect of this squalid shanty town is its name, Bel Air. Journalists rarely enter here, particularly if they are white. 